Hey everybody, this is Proverbial Gaming here, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Advanced. And in the last episode, we did, um, what is it called? The World Martial Arts Tournament. And today, we will head to Muscle Tower, where we will do random things. Goku had never known such cold, really? Well, okay, well, that kind of makes sense, because Goku kind of lived in the forest his whole life. Look at snow. You were frozen solid, that's right. I was looking for the Dragon Ball. So yeah, Goku is basically looking for the, like, four-star Dragon Ball, I think. And, um... So I think this is Goku's first introduction to the Red Ribbon Army, I think. And little known to him, I guess, is that the um, Red Ribbon Army would actually result in him dying for the second time in his life. Well, yeah, I know how many people can say they died for a second time, but Goku can say it. I'm pretty actually Goku technically dies three times in his life. Two, twice because he was technically killed, and um, the other time because, like, he just died, I guess. I mean, I, I don't think he stayed the, like, I don't think, I'm pretty sure he does die eventually, because, well, yeah, he has to. Unless the new movies, I'm pretty sure there's going to be more movies after the Frieza movie, but unless the new movies somehow make him immortal or something. But there's also a theory that if you, um, what is it called, consider GT canon, I think uh, there's a theory that, oh, okay, I can't go through those yet, but yeah. We'll, we'll talk about those doors later. Oh my god, I'm doing horribly right now. Oh my god, these guys are shooting me everywhere. Why am I doing so hard? Anyway, let's see, what is this? What is this? Yay, new key bar. But anyway, so there's a theory- Oh crap, I have to be these guys. Why do these people have guns? It's so annoying. Uh, let's just blast them away. But anyway, there's a theory that at the end of Dragon Ball GT, uh, Goku actually becomes immortal when he uh, goes away with Shenron. And I don't really know what I have to say about that. I, I don't really- I don't, I guess I don't really pay attention that much to GT lore, but that's actually a pretty interesting thought because I mean we do see Goku a hundred years later in the end of GT, where he's like watching the world tournament with Goku Jr. and uh, Vegeta Jr. and Pan's like a hundred over a hundred years old apparently, but Goku still looks like he did in Dragon Ball Z. But you could also argue that um, since Saiyans don't age, I mean like they're physical appearances don't age you could say that um goku just never really aged and he might he might just be that old as well but i i'm pretty sure eventually like i no one has stated this but i'm pretty sure eventually they would start to look a bit older because i mean if you're a hundred years old i don't think you would look like that um yeah so yeah i don't know what else to say about that i i've always also wondered if half saiyans age or not i mean i mean it would make I don't know if it would make sense or not if they age. I mean, of course all Saiyans age as well, but like, I mean, t I'm talking about their physical appearances. Because I don't, I don't think, like, Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball, I'm pretty sure Dragon Ball has never said anything about Saiyans. But I'm pretty sure, um, Dragon Ball Z or GT have never really stated if, um, what's it called? Unless you count Goku appearing at the end of GT. Uh, I don't think they've ever really stated if, um, what's it called? Uh, why can I not hurt this guy? Wait, seriously, can I not hurt him? No, I can only punch him, I guess. Okay, this guy's killing me. Okay, yeah, anyway. I, I, yeah, unless you count that ending of GT where Goku randomly appears. And Do Ki Blast, like, not do anything to him? I don't know. Okay, that was stupid. Uh, oh my god. I forgot all the mas uh, um, stuff Master Roshi taught me. <laughs> Come on. Uh, let's do one more of these spinny things. And he's dead. I don't know if that's the end of the level or not. No, it's not. Uh, too good to be- Oh, crap. Of course, he does that at the end. Uh, please, make, uh, hopefully that was a checkpoint or something, because I don't want to start the entire level again. But yeah, so it's pretty interesting to think, you know, if Goku's immortal or not. If Oh, crap, I don't want to go there yet. I want to explore this place a little bit more. I'm pretty sure you get some cool stuff. The thing about this game that's really interesting and that I like is unlike other Dragon Ball Z games, maybe you, I guess Xenoverse kind of, but not really. Um, so unlike other Dragon Ball Z games, this lets you lets you go wherever you want.
Uh, I don't remember what I was saying. I had to pause for a second. But anyway, um, let's focus on this game, I guess. Anyway, I think, um, I don't even remember what I was talking about. Okay, that was, that was a stupid thing to do. Anyway, um, there's some bad guys, I guess. I can talk about them. Not really. But, look, a burger. Can I do this right? Please, please, please. Yay. I like how your own key only really gets drained if you use the power pole, but for some reason if you use Kamehameha it just doesn't do anything to your key. It just doesn't make any sense at all. It don't explode on me. I think this is the one that explodes. I'm not- I don't remember. Maybe should I do this? Yes. Yeah, it does explode. I knew it. Okay. I'm not gonna use a power pole, obviously, because that's stupid. Yeah, so, I, like, unlike- I think I was talking about how unlike, uh, like, other Dragon Ball Z games, which are pretty close, I mean, like, you can't really do too much that, you no know, everyone else wouldn't do. You can kind of follow your own way in this game, like, I mean, there's, like, usually, like, two or three different paths you can take. It's almost like a mini Metroid game, if you think about it. Well, not really, but... But you get the, you get the idea. So yeah. Okay. Anyway, let's let's speed these guys up now. Yeah, we beat them. This is a, they should probably make more. I I would really like if they made like more Dragon Ball games like this. Cause I mean, this is a pretty good game. Oh crap! Who's this? Is this Mercenary Tao? I don't really I don't I don't really know. I mean, I know how who Mercenary Tao is, but I don't know if this is. Mercenary. I, I wonder if this hurts them. Oh crap. Yeah, I think it might be Mercenary Town. I'm not entirely sure though. Okay, that's stupid. Can I? No! Okay, let's, let's kill them. Yeah, I, I thought I was gonna miss with that, but I didn't. Okay, I'm just gonna mash my buttons now and try to kill him. Yeah, at least. At least none of these bosses were as difficult as Master Roshi slash Jackie Chun. Still haven't finished the level, that's that's nice. Three of them, of course. I mean or five of them, I don't even know. Yeah, I think this is General Tao. I don't really remember the General Tao episodes from the anime slash manga, but pretty sure this is General Tao, but doesn't really look like him. I mean I'm actually I actually started watching the Dragon Ball anime like recently again. And I I think I'm at like episode nine or something, so I'm not anywhere near the General Tao arc, I guess. Oh, wait, all of them have their own health, I think. I'm not sure. But these guys are pretty easy to beat, so who cares. Yeah, I don't want to die, because I'll be really stupid. Let's kill him. Yay! Go, okay. Uh, hopefully this is almost the end. Because this level has been very long. Some, another thing about uh, this game that I really like is how it mixes like the fighting portions like the martial arts portion of this game with the exploration like if you guys remember the mar the world martial arts tournament it was actually pretty cool how you actually got to use actual fighting techniques and stuff whereas in levels like this you get to just do random exploration more so than fight and don't don't kill me yeah i don't know why i have so less health i mean it's not that less but i i don't have anywhere near full health right now so yeah Come on, punch, punch, punch. What can I talk about? Punch, hit, six hits, that's nice, isn't it? Oh wait, you're not dead yet. <laughs> Thought I killed him, but I didn't. I hate how they have guns sometimes, it's so annoying. It's like, why would you have guns? I mean, I know they did, lots of people did have guns in the Dragon Ball anime slash manga. But, to people like... Goku is just, like, completely futile, I guess. I mean, even in a couple of episodes of Dragon Ball Z, I think they some people use guns to try to beat them, but, I mean, that's kind of stupid, I guess. I don't know what to ta say about that. Punch, and I don't know why I keep saying punch. That's, like, the worst commentary ever. Just, you know, constantly talk about how I'm punching. I mean, there's really nothing to talk about in this game. Like, the thing about RPGs is that, while well, you can't really talk about anything random in them because like i mean besides like pokemon games where you can just talk about whatever you want i mean you can still talk about the story and whatever but with games like this you have to like figure out what to talk what you want to talk about 
Because, well, there's nothing really interesting going on. I mean, of course it's interesting, but it's not really interesting if you're not playing the game yourself, I guess. I know what I really don't get is how I think a lot of people nowadays, I mean, I've heard, I've never really, I don't really know anyone like this, but apparently a lot of people nowadays tend to watch more of these videos and actually play these games, which doesn't really make any sense, because, I mean, why would you watch the videos if you don't even want to play the games, but... I don't know, I guess I'm just not like that. I think it's more so because of people like, you know, how the, the new popular YouTube gaming channels like PewDiePie and whatever. But yeah, I mean, it just doesn't make sense, I guess. What I'm saying is, I like, I usually don't, I only watch Let's Plays of games I've played before, or games that I, I'm not sure I, I want to play or not, but if I, if I watch a Let's Play of a game that I've never played before, and it seems pretty fun, then I usually just don't watch anymore and I, I just start playing it myself. I mean, that's how I feel about it, I guess. I mean, I saw, I'm pretty sure other people have different opinions about it, but I don't know. All of these guys are gonna explode on me. I'll just kill them all with this. Yeah, that, that's better. Yeah, do you have any apples? No, you don't. I don't know why I'm using Kamehameha. Okay, that did like absolutely nothing. Yeah, I think that gives me all my health back. Yes, it does. Okay, that was stupid. That goes nowhere. I don't know where that guy went. I just uh, doesn't make any sense. Hey, you are you the boss here? Give them back to me, I guess. I'm impressed you've gotten this far. I applaud you. You really are something else. I wish you were in our army. Think I would ever join you? Come on, surrender. That, that's right, Goku. You're the one who's going to surrender. I forgot this guy's name. I know, that's sad. Wait, who, what? Oh, okay, I don't really remember any of this. Like, I haven't watched the Dragon Ball anime since I was, like, a little kid. I mean, I've watched Dragon Ball Z a lot more than, like, um, what's it called? Um, Dragon Ball. Okay, this guy, I'm not hurting. This guy's not getting hurt at all. I have a feeling I'm supposed to go here or something. Uh, and I'm pretty sure I'm, maybe I'm supposed to dodge this guy or something. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I am. Yeah, this stuff is not breaking. Come on, break. What? 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 I think I can hit him now. Uh, this is stupid. Uh, I think I should have hit him when he was, like, you know, all iced up, I guess. Yes, 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 that, that is what I was supposed to do. Okay. Now that I know what to do, I will not fail like I did before. Just break these stupid things, and then that, that and that's my key to victory, I guess. I wish I had my power pole right about now, but I don't, so yeah. I seriously don't remember anything about this guy from the anime. And I've never really read the manga. Maybe I'll start. I'll start reading the manga someday. Yeah, I mean, I don't think I'm pretty sure it's pretty good. I mean, I read Dragon Ball Multiverse a lot, which if you guys don't know, it's actually this fan-made um, Dragon Ball Z sequel with like multiple universes, like of possible things that could have happened in the Dragon Ball universe. So it's actually really cool. I might even put a link of it in my description if you never read it. Now give me back the mayor, otherwise I'll s send you flying. Yeah, I'm gonna save state in case this guy is also a boss and I just die. Go ahead and try to knock me flying if you can. Wait, do I get to do a Nimbus battle? Or no, he just... Oh, it's General White, of course. The only general I really remember is General Blue. Is defeated by Goku's attack and Muscle Tower's force. I don't know, I, I don't feel like reading it. The mayor is safely rescued and Goku also finds the two-star ball. Thank you, I didn't think you were really going to take care of them all. Hey, it was easy, now I've got to go. Find the next Dragon Ball, yeah. That's nice. Good luck. Yes, good luck indeed. Do not turn the power- Okay, why am I reading the <laughs> save thing? That's just stupid. Can I do this underwater cave thing? I mean, it's been like 14 and a half minutes. I don't know if I can- Should I? I don't really remember how long this is, so I don't know if I should. Uh, maybe Muscle Tower was enough for today. So I guess I'll just call it a day. 
thank you guys for watching and i'll see you all next time when we do underwater cave thank you for watching goodbye see you later